Hi, thank you for visiting part two of my trigger finger exercises. Now in part one, I showed you a few warm-up exercises, which we'll start now. And hopefully they relieved your trigger finger. But sometimes to keep it that way, we have a few extra tips, which I would like to show you. Just warm up your hands now. Be sure to put the strength on the finger or fingers that give you the most pain or the tend to stay bent. Mine have actually cleared up quite a bit. I don't have as much problem. A little bit with this hand, but not this one anymore. Okay, I'm going to show you a few more tips to help relieve any extra pain you may have or to continue these exercises to keep your pain away. And please subscribe to my channel for my how-to videos where you will find my part one and part two of these trigger finger exercises. Okay, make sure you rub in the area where you have the most pain. I think these hands are warmed up now. Now we're going to start with a frozen tea bag. And you want this hard end, the bigger end, to rest wherever your pain is, where mine is more centered. It could be over here, it could be over here, or even in your thumb. And you may use two for both hands if you wish. But we're going to put that there, rest the cold onto the area of pain. And then we're going to bring it up to the palm, the hard area, and you are going to squeeze, hold for about 10 seconds, open. If it softens up, you, you can put it back in the freezer. Try this again. Do this maybe a, even once or twice a day is good. You do that a couple times a day would be good. Just refreeze the tea bag. Now try bringing up the one finger that really gives you the pain as you press down on the tea bag. Rest your arm out now. Hold it. And that's all there is to that. And you bring it up a little bit further and you press in again. Get that cold feeling of relief in there. There you go. Okay, I'm done with that. And I'd like to show you exercises with a stress ball. 
And now with the stress ball, you would press down. I'm going to show you from the side and make it easier. Press down and roll your hand right across it. Now what I want you to do is form a ball around it and then out, bring it back up, flatten it back out, back up, putting most of the pressure on the painful section. Okay, give it a good press there and roll back. Now I want you to go up, straighten the ball, down and up, and down and up and down. Just go up and down, all in that palm area. Now you take the ball, squeeze, and out. Squeeze, and out. Now come this way. Squeeze as hard as you can. Let it out. Squeeze. Squeeze. Out. Do that about ten times. Then take both hands in and out. Rub in a circle. There we go. Now squeeze out. Squeeze. Squeeze. Bring the ball up to the tips of your fingers. Squeeze. And leave that in there for about a count of 15. Put some pressure where the pain is. Bring that down. Okay, do that a few times. And down, open. This may hurt a little bit, depending on how much pain you have in that area. But believe me, when it's done and you've Stretch your fingers a little bit after. You'll find some relief. Now as you do this, kind of move the ball a little along the tips of your fingers. Now you do that for probably 15, 20 times. Okay. Squeeze out. Squeeze out. Squeeze out. Squeeze out.
you can do these obviously with both hands or whatever feels comfortable or whatever your pain may be or you could even get two stress balls to do some warm-ups or after one after you done your exercises it's like kneading pastry the only difference you Got to try to stretch on the trigger finger. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now just There you go. And here's to clearing trigger finger away. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day and don't forget to subscribe.